Welcome to my channel I aim to upload these news top 10 summaries daily. Links to all articles in the description if one grabs your attention. From Daily Mirror under the main headline of Mercedes to Take a Chainsaw, to Hamilton's car after. Tough Bahrain GP Weekend. Summary of headline article. Lewis Hamilton and George Russell struggled in the season opening Bahrain Grand Prix as Mercedes. Appeared to be a level below Ferrari and Red Bull. Toto Wolff revealed Mercedes will take a chainsaw to Lewis Hamilton and George Russell's car. Ahead of the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix this weekend. The Austrian admitted he is set to instruct his engineers to cut the rear wing to bits ahead of. The next race. His comments after the Silver Arrows were notably the third fastest team behind Ferrari and Red Bull in the season opening Bahrain Grand Prix. Hamilton qualified fifth while his teammate Russell started ninth but they finished third and fourth respectively after both Red Bull cars were forced to retire. From Daily Mirror under the main headline of Man United have good idea where leaks are coming from. After Neville claim. Summary of headline article. Ralph Rangnick was named as interim boss at the end of last year. Stepping in after Earl Gunnar Solskjaer was sacked amid a wretched run of form. In January. Mirror Football learned in January that many players viewed Rangnick's methods as outdated. Whilst also criticizing his assistant Chris Armas. Sky Sports claim that United bosses are aware of where the leaks have come from and hope to erase the issue in the coming months. I thought that was downright disrespectful on Friday. I did not find it funny at all, Neville said back in February that they were describing Ralph Rangnick's number two as Ted Lasso was not funny at all and not only was it disrespectful. But I found it disgusting. From Mail Online under the main headline of Liverpool and Man City fans demand semi final is moved. From Wembley. Summary of headline article Liverpool and Manchester City supporters have demanded their FA Cup semi final next month be moved. From Wembley over shambolic transport arrangements. With no direct trains to London from either city on the weekend of the match. Liverpool and City fans face severely disrupted journeys for their Wembley clash over the Easter weekend. With rail engineering works grinding London Euston to a halt. The FA confirmed in a statement that the location of the fixture would not be moved from Wembley as. Fans called for a switch to a more suitable venue instead. The prospect for Liverpool fans is bleaker. With Saturday's last available train home out of King's Cross scheduled for 7.35 p.m. Minutes after full time of a 5.30 p.m. kickoff. And involving a tight five-minute change in Leicester. We are asking both clubs. The FA and Wembley to reconsider where this game is played and. For once. To put the fans at the forefront of their thinking. From the sun under the main headline of Mickelson will miss the Masters for first time in 28 years. Over Saudi comments. Summary of headline article. Phil Mickelson will miss the Masters next month for the first time in 28 years. The three-time champ stepped away from golf indefinitely in February amid backlash over his. Involvement in the Saudi Super League and comments he made about the PGA. One Phil Mickelson will miss the Masters for the first time in 28 years credit. P.A. Mickelson. 51. Is listed as a past champion who will not compete on the Masters website. PGA Tour chief Jay Monahan was asked about Mickelson's future before the Players' Championship at the start of March. When he's ready to come back to the PGA Tour. We're going to have that conversation. From the Telegraph under the main headline of Inside Line. The moments that defined a thrilling Grand Slam for France. 
Summary of headline article. A first clean sweep since 2010 was worth the wait as France sealed their 10th Grand Slam with five very different victories. France 37 Italy 10 Villiers settles nerves The first 40 minutes of France's campaign were slippery. In wet conditions, the hosts found life awkward against determined opponents. With 30 seconds until half time, Italy were within a point at 11 to 10 down and played into midfield from a scrum 10 meters from their try line. That encouraged Juan Ignacio Brex, the Italy center, to dive off his feet. From Daily Mirror under the main headline of Jose Mourinho sends smug Roma message to rub salt into rivals' wounds. Summary of headline article. Tammy Abraham scored a brace during the derby win. And Lorenzo Pellegrini added the third as the game was wrapped up by half-time. To make matters worse for Lazio, Roma moved above them in Serie A following their 3-0 win. As the race for European football next season intensifies. And to rub salt in the wound. Mourinho sent a smug message to their bitter rivals. Forever humble in victory. Mourinho took to Instagram to celebrate their success and posted two almost identical selfies. Have your say. Will Jose Mourinho guide Roma to a Serie A title in the future? From BBC under the main headline of Tuesday's Gossip Column. Summary of headline article. The Argentine forward. 28. Has previously been sought by Manchester United and Tottenham. Calcio Mercato. In Italian. External link Inter Milan have identified Manchester United and Uruguay striker Edinson Cavani. 35. As a replacement for Chile forward Alexis Sanchez. 33. Express via The Athletic. Subscription required. External link Manchester City are preparing a bid for Boavista's 21-year-old Ecuadorian Central. Defender Jackson Perozo. The Athletic. Subscription required. External link Leicester have joined the list of clubs interested in buying 20-year-old Salzburg and Austria forward Chukwubuike Adamu. Telegraph. Subscription required. External link. From BBC under the main headline of Lampard may regret criticism, Sutton. Summary of headline article. Former Derby and Chelsea boss Lampard took over at Everton in January Everton manager Frank Lampard may regret criticising his struggling squad and questioning their courage, says Premier League winning striker Chris Sutton. He has to take responsibility. He's the manager, Sutton said. Lampard was chucking things out there and I wonder whether he will regret some of the things he's said because it can be damaging within the dressing room. It's not a good dressing room at this time but when you start questioning players' courage, I think there may be a problem. My worry for Frank is if things don't work out here. Where does he go from Everton? From the sun under the main headline of Chelsea could play FA Cup semi in front of fans with FA set. For government talks. Summary of headline article. The Football Association are in talks with the government to make sure Chelsea fans can attend next month's FA Cup semi-final against Crystal Palace. But an FA statement last night read, We hope to have sell-out crowds at both of our FA Cup semi-finals at Wembley. He said, it is ridiculous that we face the prospect of a half-full Wembley for the Chelsea vs Palace FA Cup semi-final. It was understandable that, at short notice, last week's game against Middlesbrough went ahead without Chelsea fans. He said, the FA clubs and rail authorities must work together to ensure the absolute minimum disruption to Supporter journeys at the semi-final. From the sun under the main headline of Euro 2028 will be hosted in UK and Ireland with UEFA set to 
Confirm Tournament. Summary of Headline Article. UEFA are set to announce that Euro 2028 will be hosted by the UK and Ireland. Two Euro 2028 will be hosted by the UK and Ireland credit. REUTERS2 matches will be played in England. Ireland. Northern Ireland and Wales credit. Sports file matches will be played in England. Ireland. Northern Ireland. Wales and Scotland. Providing government guarantees are received by a deadline at the end of this year. And UEFA are expected to expand the format to include 32 teams, up from 24 at Euro 2024 in Germany. Italy are also expected to confirm their intention to bid to host Euro 2032. A British and Irish bid to host the 2030 World Cup was dropped in favour of a Euro 2028 challenge. In January. Many thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to get your daily notifications. Have a great day thank you for your support goodbye.